So actually this year is pretty much about retail banking, AI, personalization, so lots of topics that do resonate very well with our proposition and uh, we're happy, very happy to see that lots of companies, technology companies are here talking about uh, how customer experience can be heightened, how usually uh, like retail banks can use more data to personalize their services uh, and, and use machine learning to do so on like a million scale data set. Uh, so these are uh, all, all the topics and, and especially analytics, uh, uh, all, all these topics are coming more and more every year we see. So actually today uh, we have our, or we had our demo in the morning uh, and that was about uh, a uh, situation where is uh, a uh, retail banking customer, a guy named Remco, was not very happy of how his bank is treating him because uh, he uh, exclaimed that uh, he's getting irrelevant offers, spam how he called him. And uh, we were trying to explain uh, how banks can understand their customers more by uh, unlocking the opportunities in the data they already have. So basically we went into, into this guy Remco's uh, financial life uh, of uh, how much money does he earn. It's the, he had an irregular income, he's a freelancer, uh, but still he had quite a significant amount at his account at the end of the year. And also uh, he earns money from different sources. Uh, we saw that based from his retail banking data, his bank knows about him, they could predict that uh, he lives uh, in partly Amsterdam, partly London. Uh, he was a keen sportsman and runner. And also, uh, this guy was driving a car back in his hometown, Amsterdam, spent a lot of money at Shell to fill up his car. So lots of, lots of interesting, uh, uh, small, what we call behavior profiles uh, that banks can use to personalize banking communication to their clients and even start uh, offering personalized banking products. Uh, and that was the, the next thing that, uh, that uh, we, we showed, that uh, a personalized uh, banking service uh, uh, that uh, our banking product that Remco was offered uh, was a, uh, a flexible loan uh, because uh, our machine learning algorithm predicted that Remco will run out of money in five days uh, if he is spending the same way as he usually spends money uh, and he didn't have any foreseeable income. So this is why we said, okay, why not have a 5,000 pound loan to straighten out your cash flow, uh, which, which he was happy with. Uh, so, so that's the type of interaction uh, uh, we try to uh, enable uh, or empower banks with uh, to be able to, based on their data understanding, to be able to personalize uh, their uh, customer communication and offer personalized banking services to them. Uh, basically, uh, this year I think the, the most important thing is that uh, uh, banks uh, uh, can go even further and not only using their own existing first party data sources, but also they can hook up to third party data sources, uh, second and third party, so use customer's location by the, by the phone location of the customer use their browsing history, uh, what, what they are browsing on third-party websites, uh, what they are interested in, so, and build all this data to a common data model to understand their customers even deeper. Uh, actually, uh, we're still in the beginning of the journey. We see many uh, European retail banks started to do personalization projects, unlocking uh, the, the value in that data. But if I would have to scale it from zero to 10, how major uh, is this in, uh, in Europe in, in this year, it would be maximum three, I would say. So we are still in the beginning.